Hello there everyone on YouTube, welcome to another episode here on this Breland campaign. We've just left it with Rob against Captain Walrig. And this should be just a very short battle. It's only two units versus, you know, two or three of mine. Oh, the Eagles. You know about the, the great secret of Lord of the Rings? Not the great secret, which is uh, Gandalf's plan that he never lets anyone know, so everything goes in the, in, to the worst possible situations. Does any uh, one of you know that, that situation? Well, if you know, you know. If you don't, then you don't. Okay, so I'm putting the cavalry there. I don't want to hit these... Well, I do want to hit these guys, because they do not have charge defense, let's say. And I would like to hit those other ones. Even though they have some shields, I can avoid that. Now, these guys just need to, to put them into their round. Let's move here. I know that the Merchant Cavalry is going to go against the Ten Landing Warriors really nicely. They are going to do damage, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Okay, now I gotta remove them away. This, for instance, doesn't work well in Warhammer, but it works well here. Okay, so these guys are now attacking the. It's nice. We're gonna go over here and charge them from the back. 16, 15. Okay, these guys do way too much damage there. No, I kind of need to make these charges happen. Yeah, they're still, you know, left without that. Let's let's enable the skirmish mode here. They're not fighting too much, but you know. I think these guys can manage in, to kill them. 31. Yeah, I think just a small charge would be better. They might run away. I don't know. Let's run away and just a charge will probably do that, so you know. Right, so let's tell them to attack these Dunlending Warbands. Yeah, my bodyguard is suffering a little bit. But now the archers are hitting them from the back. Which means that actually my Greenway Metatoms are gonna do really nicely against this Dunlending Warband. They have lost half their men. And in terms of that, those Dunlending Warriors, I think right now it's pretty fine. So let's just speed it up. But these guys are getting attacked from the back with the arrows. Just causes way too much damage. It's now nine men. I think I got it. So the Greenway Men at Arms are doing really well. They're defending well, I would say. Now I can just charge them from the back. Uh, I think I'm actually going to charge them with these guys as well on the back. Just to force the, the route, you know. Behold there we go. You got the general there. That's perfect. So I think we killed him. I won't be able to take the other guy the easily, but still. Okay. You know, I'm just having to use these small pockets of units instead of engaging with my full army. But yeah, it's kind of kind of what I like. It's better than not always having, you know, 20 units versus 20 units, which it becomes boring at some point, you know. Prime position to look. Okay, so I execute. There's no more siege here. I don't think I, I might just wait because this army. Well, I'm just yes, gonna attack it. Lord. Yeah, why not? Come on. Oh, and I recovered a lot of troops, so yeah. Let's just go do that. Glory, honor, yeah. Victory, just command. taking care of a couple of these guys. I am not a man. <laughs> I am no man. I think that's how it goes. Okay, they will have the cover of the trees, which is not a good thing. 
Yeah, the spearmen are there. Recovery. Might as well just go over there. So where are the enemies? Units. There they are. I don't know where they're going, but still. Well, I think they're gonna go over there, so let's move here. Yep. Let's move here. Let's move over there. Let's check out everything. Okay, that's good. Okay, those are done landing warriors, but these are 179. I gotta be careful because the charge can only be on their backs, you know, honestly. And I'll have to soak them up a little bit. I mean, they're already pretty soaking with all this rain, but, you know, I mean, just kill a couple of them with the archers. Um, with the arrows, I mean. Where's the range? It's getting close. So when they reach there, they'll probably be able to fire. Not yet. Okay, let's just move here. Okay, now you can hit them. There we go. Now they're they're hitting where the on, on the side where the shield is not, so this gives them a little bit of an edge. But they are also hitting where he's he's on the woods and he's you know he has armor. There is rain here. Everything, every single thing of it, of it just causes what you're seeing here, which is like my archers are just spending ammunition with no effect. So they're gonna do this. Yeah, and this way that will be a little bit better. You're gonna see that suddenly they're gonna start, um, you know, causing more damage. So far they've killed six with all that ammunition. Now I don't know if the ability of this the shield wall is actually better against these guys, but let's let's see. They do have pull arms, so I'm kind of surprised that these guys don't have you know. Um, Bonuses versus armor, that they should have. You can see that the ar archers are already doing some more damage. Right. So right now these guys, they're fighting out. I want a couple more volleys before I charge on their backs. Yeah, and the green men at arms, they're actually hanging on decently. I mean, I didn't suffer too much. They're still suffering there. So that is good. Of course, I'm also hitting my own greenway, but look at this. I mean, these are heavy infantry. They're suffering against my medium infantry. Okay, so let's charge them on the backs. That'll probably draw them. Yeah, look at that. The shield wall is actually working really well against these guys. Okay, Archer Fire just stops and let's charge them hand to hand. Might as well just send them hand to hand when you're causing this problem, when you're causing this charge. The enemy force remains. Yep, this just takes care of a lot of them. And then suddenly they see themselves completely surrounded and I might break off their morale, which is what I want. But I didn't lose as many Greenway men at arms, so th this is really cool. Yeah, look at this. This is gonna make it. Uh, Okay, they actually didn't do this. Yeah, there's that guy. That guy was late the army the to the battle. And run them down. But right now, everything is done. That's perfect. I love that shield wall. It worked perfectly on this situation. That's cool. Yeah, it worked really well. Now these guys are pursuing, the and they got him. So very well done. Very well done, indeed. That's Boromir defending them from many foes. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty much safe to go with these guys. Victory. Capture those forts, perhaps. No like uh, here's one thing that I kind of needed lord. to do. Ooh, I cannot construct a watchtower here. Really? Yes, my lord. What here? Splitting our forces. 
Yes. Okay, I can build it here, so let's build it. This tower will keep vigil can over probably the build it here, so let's With go honor, for it. This there we go. Kind of need that. Your order, then he's going to capture everything there. Yes, or I'm going to move towards this guy. I mean, that's going to take three turns. It's, it's fine. Do I need some further units? I mean, Mitraeth is building them. Oh yeah, I, I think I can have some lumbermen or woodland hunters. Let's go so get some lumbermen here. In terms of agents, let me check. So yeah, this spy is pretty on the spot. This one is also on the spot. This guy is just checking this situation. So one thing that I want to check is how is everything on this middle ground. And now let me check the diplomats. Okay, I, I know that there's probably a city around here. I don't know where it is. Yes, my lord. Then there's this guy. Without He's gonna question. go towards the black gate. Yes. I wanna find out I what's going on. Tomorrow. Now there's an intern. Then I'm gonna talk to Gumda, Rohan, Umba. Uh, who else is over there? Uh, Harad. Yeah, gonna have to talk with those guys. So Enidwith didn't attack my sieging force later on Londair because their turn is already ended. So that's another conquest. Pretty much. Yeah. Was Giliath is under attack? Man, these guys yes, my lord. are always under attack. As you wish. As you wish. Alright, so here's Mordo. Is there something I can do for you? Yes. You can give me some money from my maps. We have no complaint. That is yeah, I also have no yes, complaints. My lord. There we go. If only I could. So I recruited a lot of stuff in Bree, and right now no there's will, there's need of that upkeep stuff. That's cool. And Mitraith. Yeah, this has upkeep. Oh, I have a lot of money suddenly. That's cool. So let's see the construction reports. I got the mines in Bregos. That was nice. I mean, the mines are providing a little bit more extra income. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me check. I think these Hobbit places are all done. Yeah, they all need to grow really a lot. I mean, it, it's not going to take. It's not going to be easy for them. I mean, if I put them like this, I'm, I will lose like 200 each. But that will grow the population. So let me see if I can grow the population of these guys easily. I mean, still better, just so I can be sure that I get, you know, a lot of. Okay, Argon for sure. Argon has got to build up some other stuff. I mean, this won't, but the roads will provide double. Yeah, so these roads actually provide double, which is really nice. Then I still have some more money. So where is Argon? There we go. How about Southern Talbot? Do you need anything? Carries no lead. Bregos cannot do anything. Could get a castle upgrade here, but you know. Oh, I can retrain these guys. Let's retrain those. Hang on a second. That is nice. And I still have some more money in order to build some units. I mean, where? Mitraith? Mangalan? Let me see here. Seven turns. Insufficient. Mm -hmm. Insufficient funds. I mean, Bree can keep building those. I think I'm gonna go for the green white cavalry here. Yeah, that feels better. So he defended against that uh, Angmar general, so that's fine. There's no threats in the north. Uh, do note that, you know, my guys are doing really great. Yes, my lord. How about you? Are yes. you gonna be able to find me some cities? Question. I haven't found Tomorrow's any roads journey here. Plan. Yes, my lord. This guy has moved. My lord. Okay, so there's a small army there and small army there. I think I can take Londayir. And My let me just see. Alkfoot has some armies nearby, some units quietly. nearby. That's their faction leader. Dunland is moving in with some units. Address, it's it's kind of okay. I mean, I can move these guys here By to your defend. Your orders, My Lord. And you, sir, you can just... Glory, get honor, that fort for me. My lord, yes, my lord. Yeah, that will take two turns, so I'm gonna move this guy over there. Those of units, yeah, I'm doing great. 
They're not that great, 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 but still great. I can recruit a lot of these rangers and stuff, which I should. And then there's this smaller army. I kind of want to wait until these guys are retrained. Yeah. So the deal would be to attack here. On Londair. Yeah, there we go. We shall engage. I mean, again, Assault up probably can just auto resolve. Oh no, they actually have Wildwind Defenders. So they suddenly have an Archer unit and three Wildwind Defenders. Okay. Your I didn't want we to have a, a big battle here against this, this city, but come on, there's only one unit there. There's not a better, better moment to strike. And there's not a lot of. Uh, problems on this site. I mean, I'm still recruiting units on the other, on near Bree and other cities, so I'll still have enough. Okay, so archers for sure. They're going to be very important. Very important. Now, I like that there's like only 22 here on this unit. I'm going to send them in. Shire Militia and Dunedain Blademasters. They won't get through our swords. I think it's better that I don't send the Dunedain Blademasters and I just send the Shire Militia. I have better replenishment of those guys. I mean, I, I want the Dunedain Blademasters to do something else. I want them to... Yeah, th these are kind of my best infantry units. I want them to go through the main gate with the pikes. Of course, I cannot take advantage of my cavalry on this on this moment, but you know. Okay, so there are definitely some units here, which are the Wildman Defenders, and he also has the Archers here, I believe. No, he has the Archers right there. There we go. The other two units are here, in the middle. Perfect stuff. This means that I'll be able to get the the walls easily, and he's also suffering some some casualties with my archers. Yep. If I could get my archers on the walls, then that is pretty much done. Of course, the towers are always causing trouble, but you know, so far it's actually good. As soon as I destroy the the gatehouse, uh, I'll send my pikemen in. Yep. That's good. The walls with their ladders. That's a bad place to spot the ladders. I mean, anyone can just push them in. They should have something that is really heavy in order to attach them. You know, it's, it's not difficult place. to put that on the, the views there. Fall. So the gate is taking 7% there. These guys are hitting 184. Okay, so they made 16 casualties. 17, 18, 19. That's not bad. That's not bad. I think the Wildman defenders might just push the gate. No, not really. Okay, so... You know, in all, in all, in all, in all honesty, I think I'm doing really great the siege. You know, I, I can just start sending some units as soon as I have everyone on the walls there. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I really need to send in the archers to the to the, the walls. And for that to create like kind of a foothold. There we go. So pikemen are gonna go against them right away. Pikeman, go against the Wildman defenders there. These defenders of the Shire, let's take the Wildman defenders here. You guys, you're gonna go here. These guys, let's go over here. Let's go over here, let's capture all the spot. Let's just move here. These guys, at least they can get a better angle of attack. You know, that's already 150, so they killed 50 there. And now they're attacking me more like this. Now pikes, pikes are doing great here. 
not great, 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 but still decent, decent stuff. These guys are moving over there, so they'll be able to attack them on the over there. Yeah, I think these Wildman Defenders, they're, they're doing more damage than what I wanted, but I'm still going to be fine. You know? Yeah, so the pikemen are not able to do their defense, their usual defense, the pike defense. But I'm still getting the archers there, which... Yeah, it's the best archers, so they're gonna cause some conversion. But you're gonna try and attack there. I mean, these guys, I think they're balanced, so they're gonna do that. And these guys, as soon as they're there, they're gonna cause a lot of damage. So I've gotta, gotta start on that. Of course, these elder guildsmen causing a lot of damage. Yeah, I am killing a lot of their men, but so are... so is he, I mean... He killed a lot of these farm and pikemen without suffering too many losses, you know? Here we go. So Shire Militia against the Wildman Defenders. Wow, they're not doing well at all. And I have to send these guys in. So I actually thought that they would do the, the job, but they are not doing it. Yeah, right now I feel like I'm going to lose a couple of units that I didn't want to. But he's also losing a lot of units due to the Arch of Fire. There we go, come on. These guys have really great accuracy, so you know. Time to send the Blade Masters because these guys are the breakers. Okay, these guys are not managing well against the Wildman Defenders. Okay, it's, it's good to know that a 510 unit is better than a 612. <laughs> That's why I sent them, you know, it's not just Shia against Defenders, it's, it's units that are, are typically better. Come on, hit them. There we go. They should be able to hit them really nicely. Now we're doing damage. We've captured the enemy's walls. Actually, they are attacking the, the Elder Guildsmen there. Might as well attack them, yeah. So these are 91. Now we're seeing the. If we continue like this, only half the enemy force remains. Yeah, the Wildman defenders—they're not going to do well. Hey, these guys—I wonder if I can move them like here, so that I can move these guys like here or something. There we go. There we go. That should cause a commotion. Right now my archers are dealing a lot of damage to the Elder Guardsmen, as you can see there. But this unit fought to the death against these Wildman defenders and now they are toast. Okay, so let's see these guys. Okay, this guy, no. Let's just send a couple of volleys here and there. Then the cavalry, let's move in. Now the, I think they can now charge home and deal the damage. Yeah, he's running away there. My archers are attacking over there. Eh. Okay, so I lost like two units of Shire militia and stuff, in all honesty. There we go, the cavalry units should be able to deal with the other guildsmen. These guys, you're just gonna stop the auto fire there. Same thing for you. There we go. Killing the other guildsmen, that is nice. 
Let's speed it up a little bit. Who is attacking my archers? Okay, let's engage them. Good. I don't know if you realize there, I just wanted to make sure that they would, you know, uh, surround them. Still lost a lot of men, but consider that 399, that's about two units of Shire Militia. Of course, it's infantry units that I have in low supply. But the conquest of this, uh, this, this place is very well... Uh, it's very interesting, it's very necessary. Yep, it's a very good city that they have, one of the best. Oh god, and it crushed. Really? I think you found that one. Right guys, for that will be it for for you guys on 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 YouTube. For you guys on the stream you'll have to see that battle once more, and I'll probably have to do some other decisions in order for me to capture the place. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on YouTube. Well, there will still be the conquest of that city. Bye-bye.